9,000 Russian soldiers have died since the war in Ukraine began. Of these, almost 300 are said to be men who have been mobilized. The Kremlin is far from its goals in Ukraine. Many Russians are concerned about that, including those in Putin's inner circle. So what does that mean for the war and for Putin's political career? UW correspondent Yuri Roshetto has this report. Confusion about the reasons for going to war, few gains on the ground, and the chaos of mobilization. The war in Ukraine is not going well for Russia. The withdrawal of troops from Kherson at the beginning of November was Moscow's biggest setback since the war began. Hardliners in Moscow have been grumbling ever since. Three of the loudest have been businessman Yevgeny Prigozhin, Chechnyan leader Ramzan Kadyrov, and former president Dmitry Medvedev. Prigozhin, one of Vladimir Putin's closest confidants, is making himself especially noticeable. For years, he denied the existence of his mercenary army, the Wagner Group. But recently, he changed his story and said he's been in charge of the paramilitary organization since 2014. Prigozhin has two political instruments, the Wagner Group and the media outlets that have helped him gain popularity and status. He's a kind of external service provider for the state. He has some of the power of the state and acts as a political figure. In mid-September, a video came out that showed a man who looked like Prigozhin recruiting Russian prisoners to fight in Ukraine. Their reward, freedom and money. Another Putin ally who has been all over the headlines since the war began is Ramzan Kadyrov. Chechnya's leader has publicly criticized Russia's generals for being too soft. Kadyrov is using the media to broaden his influence and to show everyone that he is a major player. Chechen soldiers are fighting on Russia's side in the Donbass region. Kadyrov is being used by Putin just like Prigozhin to recruit fresh troops for the front lines. Medvedev, who served as president and prime minister, has been stoking the fires of anti-Western hatred and making optimistic predictions that Russia will win the war in Ukraine. He has even said that nuclear weapons are the way to give Russia back its former imperial glory. He has a need for admiration, the former president who has become a nobody. I think he wants to earn political capital. He seems to still have political ambitions. Just how much Prigozhin, Kadyrov and Medvedev are putting President Putin under pressure is unclear. But nine months into the war in Ukraine, displeasure is growing in Russia over its course.